What we are driving today sounds like a coffee, wants to be an SUV, but is actually an entry level car. Guys and girls, welcome to Motor Beam, and we are driving the Maruti Suzuki Espresso. Every new car these days wants to be an SUV. So what designers do is put in certain SUV characters and boom, your SUV is born. Now the Espresso is going to compete directly with the Renault Quid, which has also been recently updated. Though this car is very similar to the Alto, it will not be replacing the Alto and all these will coexist together. There's no doubt that this car is heavily inspired by an SUV. You get a raised hood, high ground clearance and slightly flared wheel arches. The stock car doesn't get any side body cladding, but there are numerous accessory options to choose from, including DRLs. You get squarish headlamps at the front and C-shaped tail lamps at the back, which are placed a little higher to give that SUV stance. The wheel arch, especially at the rear, have too much dead space and it looks quite odd. The Standard and the LXI come on 13-inch tires, while the VXI and the VXI Plus get 14 inches. The first thing you notice when you get inside the car is the high seating position. You have a really commanding view of the road. Now Maruti has given it a centralized instrument cluster which I personally don't like, but Maruti has managed not to make it look uncanny. This gets a digital speedometer, but tachometer is missing. The dashboard is very compact and hence there is good legroom. Even the second row has decent amount of legroom. The tall boy design ensures that there is good headroom too for both front and second rows. Under thigh support in both rows is just about average and due to the car being very narrow, shoulder room is very average too. The Espresso comes with Maruti's Smart Play Studio infotainment system which gets Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Navigation and Smart Play Studio apps. This car also gets a rear parking sensor. The steering also gets audio and voice controls. There are a lot of areas where cost cutting is very evident. The mirror doesn't have a dimming function. Power windows are provided only at the front and not at the back. There is no defogger. A wiper would have definitely been great. Most of the storage areas in the car are at the front in the center console and in the front door pockets. The rear door doesn't have much storage and there are no door pockets there. Even though the loading lip is quite high due to its SUV stance, the boot space is quite good by segment standards. The Espresso is powered by the tried and tested 1 litre K10 series of engine. It produces 68 PS of power and 90 Newton meters of torque. Now, this engine is BS6 compliant, and as a result, it has become much smoother and much quieter. Power delivery is very linear. The low end is decent, but the peak of the power comes in the mid range and the high end. Driving on the highway is effortless, and the Espresso will do triple digit speeds without running out of breath. In gear acceleration is pretty good too. With the BS6 engine coming in, low-end performance has also improved which means driving in the city in crowded areas is much more easier now. Mated to this engine is an option of an AMT, which Maruti calls the AGS, or the 5-speed manual. Maruti has improved the AMT even further, the shifts are much smoother now, but however, being an AMT, there is a considerable amount of lag. But if you put this in perspective that an entry-level car buyer doesn't really look at this, and the comfort and convenience which this car offers is totally unmatched. The manual gearbox is a bit notchy, comes with a light clutch and is more fun to drive. So if you are an enthusiast, you will definitely prefer the manual one over the AGS. The Espresso comes with a claimed fuel efficiency of around 21.5 km to the litre. But we expect this car will deliver around 16 km to the litre in the real world scenario. As far as safety is concerned, this car comes with ABS, EBD and driver side airbag as standard across all variants. The top variants also get dual front airbags. The steering is pretty light, it makes it very easy to move around in the city. But when you get to the highway, it doesn't really weigh up that well. But 
Having said that, the high speed stability is quite good. Ride quality is surprisingly good and even on the worst of roads, there's hardly anything creeping into the cabin, both at low and high speeds. Braking performance is just average and that is primarily due to the thinner section tyre which Maruti has offered, which favour fuel efficiency over better grip. The Espresso comes with the segment best turning radius of just 4.5 meters. This car is based on the fifth generation hardtech platform and there is improved engine isolation thereby NVH levels are much better. Even though this car is mechanically very similar to the Alto, what really differentiates it is the form factor. The Espresso offers good performance, fuel efficiency, tons of space and even comes with an option of an automatic. We reckon this car will appeal to those first-time car buyers who aspire to buy an SUV but are on a budget. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, share and don't forget to subscribe to the Motorbeam channel.